Chapter 817 Wu Dong Qian Kun The loud laughter was mixed with wild and violent energy. It was just like thunder as it swiftly spread across the sky above unique Devil City, attracting countless pairs of eyes. Under the astonished gazes of the crowd, two streaks of light shot over from the distant horizon at lightning speed. Within a couple of flashes, they had appeared in the sky above. Bang! As the rays of light arrived, one of them suddenly threw a palm forward. Immediately, monstrous purplish-black energy unfurled. It was just like a storm as it ruthlessly smashed against the giant Yuan power palm that was swatting towards Lin Dong. Bang bang bang. Two majestic attacks brazenly collided, causing a loud sound to resound. After which, everyone was shocked to see that the giant Yuan power palm formed by the advanced profound life stage expert of Yuan Gate had actually been corroded by the purplish-black energy, and was rapidly melted away. Who are you? You actually dare to obstruct my Yuan Gate? Quote. A gray-clothed elder flashed and appeared in the sky after the attack was blocked. His expression was quite ugly as he looked at the giant palm that had crumbled. After which, his dark and stern eyes looked towards the two rays of light that were rushing over as he cried out. The rays of light in the sky disappeared. Soon after, they appeared beside Lin Dong and transformed into two figures. One of them was as tall and strong as a metal tower. His skin was black appearing as though it was made from black metal. When sunlight shone on his skin, it actually reflected a metallic glow. An indescribable toughness and powerful ripple was emitted wave after wave. Beside the metal tower-like figure was a tall and straight man in green clothes. Compared to the rough and large man beside him, his body was clearly exceptionally slim. Moreover, the most surprising thing about him was his bewitchingly handsome face. That appearance of his would cause even some women to feel jealousy in their hearts. The difference in size between the two of them was too great. Looking from a distance, the visual impact it gave off was quite intense. Who else could it be other than Little Martin and Little Flame? Big brother, it seems that we have arrived a little late. Originally, we wanted to go to Unique Devil Region to look for you. Little Flame rubbed his head as he gave Lin Dong a simple and honest smile. Tisk tisk. What a big lineup. You really know how to create trouble. I have also heard about what happened in Unique Devil Region. You did well. When the small Martin appeared, it did not pay any attention to the gray clothed elder. Instead, it turned its head and looked at Lin Dong, smiling as it teased. Then, it paused for a moment before asking, Are you alright? Lin Dong looked at the two people in front of him. He smiled and shook his head. He could sense that the two of them had stealthily relaxed their tense bodies when they saw that he was safe and sound. Immediately, a smile involuntarily surfaced on the corners of his mouth as warmth flowed within his heart. Who are they? Behind Lin Dong, Ying Xiaoxiao furrowed her eyebrows and asked as she stared at the two people who had suddenly appeared. She had never seen Little Martin and Little Flame before. That is Lin Diao and Lin Yan. They are Lin Dong's sworn brothers. Back then, they came to Dao Sect together. However, after Lin Dong joined Dao Sect, they left to train. Ying Wan Wan explained. She was clearly quite familiar with Little Martin and Lin Yan. After all, they had fought alongside each other at Demon Sound Mountain. Oh, Ying Xiaoxiao was clearly a little surprised. Soon after, her eyes carefully swept over the two of them. Her eyes were a little solemn. From the simple and honest face of Little Flame, whose body was like a metal tower, she could sense a rich feeling of danger. That feeling was as though under that simple and honest smiling face, there was an extremely vicious character hidden within. This kind of brutality was not much different from Lin Dong when he went berserk. It was a little like one was marked by one's company. As for little Martin, Ying Xiaoxiao had also paid more attention to him because of his devilishly handsome face. However, in the next moment, her originally solemn expression became even more intense. This was because she realized that she could not sense even the slightest bit of danger from Little Martin's body. Generally speaking, there were only two types of people who could make her feel this way. One was someone who did not pose any threat, while the other was someone whose strength far surpassed hers. Hence, she was unable to sense it. If Little Martin had not attacked earlier, perhaps Ying Xiaoxiao would have thought that he was the former. However, it was obvious that he, who had easily defeated an advanced profound life stage expert's attack, was definitely not one of them. Therefore, 
the only answer was that little Martin's strength had already reached a level that she was unable to sense. Unfathomable. This was Ying Xiaoxiao's first evaluation of little Martin. She was also exceptionally astonished that Lin Dong was actually able to be with such a person. Ha <laughs> ha, little miss, you really remember it well. Little Martin suddenly turned his head and smiled at Ying Wanwan while the Ying sisters were conversing. He clearly had an extremely deep impression of Ying Wanwan. The former's identity as a reincarnator was something that even little Martin was rather afraid of. He knew that if Ying Wanwan awakened in the future, she would definitely become a top-tier expert in this world. However, from the looks of the current situation, this lady seemed to have some feelings for Lin Dong. This was a good thing. Ying Wanwan pursed her lips and smiled at little Martin, appearing exceptionally quiet and beautiful. Hey. Little Martin's eyes shifted away from Ying Wanwan and suddenly paused on the young lady beside her. He was immediately stunned. Why is this little girl here? Qingtan, Little Flame's eyes were also stunned on the young lady. Qingtan was also at a loss when she saw their gazes. From the looks of it, the two of them seemed to be very familiar with her. Qingtan, do you still remember Little Flame? Lin Dong smiled. He patted Little Flame's arm and smiled at Qingtan. Little Flame? Qingtan blinked her eyes in a daze. It was a long while later, before her eyes suddenly widened. She looked at the metal tower like man in disbelief, her small hand covering her mouth, Little Flame. Back then, when Lin Dong and Little Flame left the Great Yan Empire, the latter was still unable to transform. Hence, Qingtan's understanding of him had remained at the time when he was a fire python tiger. However, right now, the large tiger that had carried her all over the town had transformed into such a ferocious appearance. It can't be, are you really little flame? How did you become like this? Quote. The young lady's shock only lasted for a moment. Soon after, she pounced over with extreme curiosity. Her small hands continuously touched little flame's steel-like skin, while chirping noises continuously sounded out. Little flame looked at the little bird-like young lady beside him, as a smile appeared on his simple and honest face. There was an extremely rare gentleness in his eyes, which faintly flickered with an ominous glint. He still clearly remembered those memories from back then. How rude. In future, you should call me Big Brother Lin Yan. Lin Dong smiled and patted Ching Tan's head. Then, he pointed at Little Martin and said, This fellow has actually been watching you for a few years. However, he used to hide in my body and you did not know. Yes, he is now called Lin Diao. When she heard Lin Dong's words, Ching Tan nodded her head. She curiously looked at little Martin, before she softly said to Lin Dong, This big brother Lin Diao is so pretty. Even though Ching Tan's voice was soft, it was clearly heard by little Martin. Immediately, an embarrassed look appeared on his handsome face. When Lin Dong saw that little Martin, whose skin was usually thicker than his, was actually embarrassed, he could not help but laugh. Who exactly are you? This Lin Dong is someone that our Yuan Gate sect master has ordered to invite back. I hope that you will not interfere in order to avoid getting yourself into trouble. In the sky, when the gray clothed elder saw that the little Martin duo had actually ignored him after they appeared, his old face involuntarily turned a little ugly. Soon after, he coldly cried out. Noisy old fellow. At this moment, little Martin finally turned his head. A mocking expression appeared on his handsome face as he smiled and said, Isn't it just killing some of your Yuan Gate disciples? Is there a need to be so flustered and exasperated? When he heard these words, the gray-clothed elder's eyes immediately turned dark and cold. He spoke in a sinister manner, This little bastard has killed 540 of our Yuan Gate disciples. His killing intent is too great. Our Yuan Gate is doing this for his own good. Hence, we have invited him back to Yuan Gate and help him erase his killing intent. Otherwise, he will ruin his future. I don't care what relationship you have with him. I advise you to just watch from the side. Otherwise, you will not be able to pay the price. Is that so? When little Martin heard this, he lifted his head. A brilliant smile appeared on his handsome face. Soon after, that brilliant smile became a little sinister. He extended his slender right hand as purplish-black flames rose and gathered on his palm. A bone-chilling voice that contained a rich killing intent resounded. Untactful old dog, do you think you have the qualifications to discipline my brother? Chapter 818 Wu Dong Qian Kun 
Little Martin stood in the air, while a purplish black flame rose on his palm. The glow of the flame shone on his handsome face. Faintly, an eccentric fierceness rose, causing one's heart to shiver. At this moment, countless people in unique Devil City were stunned by Little Martin's words. Soon after, they secretly smacked their lips. Where did this person come from? To think that he did not even place Yuan Gate in his eyes. Truly worthy of being my brother. Ying Xiaoxiao and the rest looked at each other. This little Martin's character was even more eccentric than Lin Dong's. His words were even more vicious and he did not leave any face for the other party. You're courting death. In the sky, the eyes of the gray-clothed old man had completely turned cold. His face twitched. It was obvious that he had become extremely furious because of Xiao Diao's rude words. Since you're in cahoots with this kid, I'll take you down as well. The gray-robed elder viciously said. With just you? Little Martin chuckled as he placed his hands behind his back. His smile contained an unconcealable disdain. His actions were clearly extremely insolent. However, faintly, there was a wild and untamed elegance to him. This demeanor, coupled with his handsome appearance, caused the eyes of several ladies in the city to flicker with splendor. Let's see how long you can be so stubborn. The gray-robed elder's expression was steely green. Soon after, his body suddenly swept forward. Majestic and vigorous Yuan power surged out, directly transforming into a Yuan power mountain peak that pressed towards Little Martin. Humph. Upon seeing this, the simple and honest expression on Little Flame's face disappeared at an astonishing speed. Soon after, a ruthless aura that caused one's heart to turn cold surged out from his face. In the blink of an eye, the simple and honest large fellow had turned into an Asura killing god. Let me. However, Little Martin did not make a move. Little Martin waved his hand at him. Soon after, his palm, which was filled with purplish black flames, reached out and grabbed at the huge Yuan power mountain that was whistling towards him. Boom! As Little Martin's palm clenched, the space around the Yuan power mountain immediately distorted. It was as if an invisible hand was squeezing the space until it was about to shatter. Break! A low and deep voice suddenly emerged from Little Martin's mouth. The distortion of space instantly reached its limit, while the Yuan Power Mountain Peak was directly crushed by his palm. Boundless Yuan Power poured down in torrents in the sky, while the gray-clothed elder's expression gradually turned dark and solemn. This move of Little Martin was enough to reveal his formidable strength. After all, if it was the gray-clothed elder, he was confident that he would not be able to reach the stage of casually distorting space. You have recovered some of your strength. Lin Dong smiled faintly when he saw this scene. Little Martin's strength had yet to reach such a level when he was at the Demon Sound Mountain previously. Clearly, Little Martin's strength had recovered quite a bit during this period of time. With Second Brother's current strength, there should be no one who can match up to you within the profound life stage. Little Flame smiled towards Lin Dong and said. Lin Dong nodded his head. From the looks of it, Little Martin's current strength should be at the perfect profound life stage. He wondered exactly what level that fellow was at its peak. You dare to hoot in front of Grandpa Martin with just this little bit of ability? In the sky, Little Martin crushed the giant mountain peak with a single palm. After which, an icy cold smile surfaced on his handsome face. His palm, which was burning with purplish black flames, suddenly turned towards the gray clothed elder and suddenly clenched. Boom! As he clenched his fist, the space around the gray-clothed old man started to distort once again. This time around, waves of purplish-black flames started to spread out from the distorted space. Furthermore, they swept towards the gray-clothed old man at an astonishing speed. This unforeseen event caused the gray-clothed elder to turn pale with fright. Immediately, he waved his sleeves. Boundless Yuan power gushed out like floodwaters in an attempt to block the purplish-black flames that were sweeping over. Chi Chi. When the majestic Yuan power tide collided with the purplish black flames, a Chi Chi sound continuously rang out. In the next moment, the gray clothed elder was somewhat horrified when he saw that his Yuan power was actually rapidly disappearing under the burning purplish black flames. Swoosh. An icy cold smile flashed across little Martin's face. With a flick of his finger, the purplish black flames transformed into a fire dragon. 
it penetrated the gray-clothed elder's Yuan power defenses and ruthlessly smashed against his body. Bang! A low and deep sound reverberated across the sky. In the next moment, the miserable shriek of the gray-clothed elder rang out. His figure shot backwards in an extremely miserable manner. The skin on his body had turned somewhat scarlet red. A trace of blood hung at the corner of his mouth. His aura was extremely sluggish. Clearly, he had suffered serious injuries. When the gazes of the entire city looked at the miserable figure of the gray-clothed elder, all of them involuntarily inhaled a breath of cold air. This was an advanced profound life stage expert. Yet, he was only able to endure for such a short while in the hands of that handsome youth? Such powerful strength. Just where did this person come from? In a building within the city, Ling Qingzu's eyes were somewhat grave as she looked at the battle in the distant sky. She spoke in a somewhat doubtful manner. Although this person's appearance does not differ much from yours, that is definitely not his true age. His strength has likely already reached the perfect profound life stage. Beside Ling Qingzu, a beautiful woman was similarly looking at the sky with a grave expression. She was the leader of the Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace Group. Her strength was also at the advanced profound life stage. That is Big Brother Lin Diao. He is Big Brother Lin Dong's sworn brother. Su Ru suddenly interrupted from the side. Oh, Ling Qingzu and the beautiful woman's expressions changed slightly as they looked towards Su Ru. Big brother Lin Dong and his brothers are all from the Great Yan Empire. Big brother Lin Diao is usually quite fierce. When we first met at the start of the Hundred Empire War, he even wanted to chase us away. However, they were only willing to let us follow after Big brother Lin Dong spoke out. Su Ru laughed. However, Big brother Lin Diao is also a very good person. He he, he will usually not object to Big Brother Lin Dong's decisions. Ling Qingzu exchanged a look with the beautiful woman beside her. Soon after, she tilted her head, and looked at Lin Dong's figure in the distant sky with a somewhat complicated expression in her eyes. As their interaction deepened, there were more and more things about the latter that caused her to be astonished. For example, this handsome youth, whose strength had reached the perfect profound life stage, and could even be considered as a top-tier expert in the entire Eastern Zon region, was actually his sworn brother. Moreover, from Su Ru's words, it was not difficult for her to understand that Lin Dong occupied a leading position amongst the three brothers. Being able to make someone, whose strength far surpassed ones, acknowledge such a leading position was not an easy feat. Bang bang! A tyrannical fluctuation erupted in the distant sky, as numerous figures shot backwards. They were Chi Lei, Shi Tu and the rest, who were previously entangled in a fight. Liu Yu? Shi Tu and the other four from the Yuan Gate looked at the extremely miserable-looking gray-clothed elder, as their expressions changed. This fellow is extremely powerful. I wonder where he came from. The gray-clothed elder, who was called Liu Yu, had an extremely ugly expression on his face as he looked at little Martin in the distance. Shi Tu and the other four frowned as they stared gloomily at little Martin's figure. After a moment, Shi Tu stepped forward, and said in a deep voice, This friend. All of you can come at me together. However, before he could finish his sentence, little Martin's faint laughter rang out. You. Shi Tu instantly flew into a rage upon hearing this. From the looks of it, there was no need to waste any more words. The person before them clearly wanted to go against them. Good. Today. I want to see exactly what kind of ability you have to actually dare to spout such nonsense here. Chi too waved his sleeve and said in a sinister voice. Nearby, when Chi Lei, Chen Zhen and the other two saw this scene, they were slightly startled. Soon after, they looked towards little Martin, clearly unable to understand why he would help. Who is he? Chi Lei asked doubtfully. He seems to be Lin Dong's friend, Chen Zhen said hesitantly. He had seen little Martin before. However, at that time, Lil Martin's strength was clearly far from this terrifying. Upon hearing this, Chi Lei and the other two were somewhat astonished. Obviously, they did not expect that Lin Dong would actually know such an expert. Leave them to me. In the sky, Lil Martin took a look at Chi Lei and the other three, before slowly walking forward. As he took a step forward, purplish black flames suddenly swept out from behind him. From afar, it looked like a demonic god had descended. All of you, come at me together. Otherwise, you won't have the chance. 
the purplish-black flames that filled the sky surge, as an icy cold smile slowly appeared on little Martin's handsome face. However, the words that came out from his mouth were filled with an unconcealable tyrannical aura. To be continued.